delete all saved cards, don't make it convenient. This is big. Now, this is what helped me out back then. I used to shop on this like dollar jewelry store back in the day and I would have my card saved on there, my debit card. And every week when I would get my paycheck back in like 2012, I used to spend money without even thinking of it because my card was saved onto that site. So the best way to stop a shopping addiction is to delete your cards on these apps and these websites. Stop making it convenient for yourself to spend unnecessary money, especially when it comes to Amazon and Target and Walmart, those sites that have different things to look at all the time. Delete your card information and try your best not to have your cards next to you all the time. Try your best to put them in a different room so you don't go for that card and then plug it back in and purchase something, okay? So stay strong. Delete unnecessary shopping apps. This is the second thing to the first thing if I was saying. So if you cannot control yourself and you're in bed late night and you watched a couple Amazon hauls and you go onto Amazon, but you don't have your card saved, but you just still put it in your cart because you might check out tomorrow when you put your card information, the best thing for you to do is to delete those apps. I myself, even with me being a minimalist, I delete those apps. Like I have no use of purchasing something from Amazon every month. I have no use to purchase something from Target or Walmart every month. I don't have not one shopping app on my phone. If I need to purchase something from that site, I'll either go to my laptop or I'll re-download the app, buy that certain item, and then delete it. That's it. It's very easy to delete an app. Some of us forget that we can delete apps. And you can always download them if you really, really need something later on. So do not feel guilty if you delete it right now and then you need to re-download it next month because you need something for your house. I think that's like one of the best methods when you have a shopping addiction. Buy the stuff that you need, get rid of the app after you purchase it, like right away. Decluttering is such an old fashioned trick, but it works every freaking time. When you declutter your house, and you do two piles for trash, and then you do a pile to keep. Most of the items that you're decluttering go into the trash pile, and that way it's a visual on what you wasted your money on. This is what helped me also stop my shopping addiction when it came to makeup back in the day. I realized how much money I wasted and how much hours I poured into my job back in the day waiting tables that's just going into the trash. It could have went to my savings, but it's going into the trash instead. So like I said, once when you see that visual of money that you wasted, it's going to help you think before you spend money next time. I've had plenty of mistakes when it came to going to the store, seeing an item that I loved, picking it up, you know, purchasing it, bringing it home. Us humans gravitate towards things that we are used to and that we are familiar with. That's usually the things that we like. I remember purchasing a shirt that I loved three times three freaking times and then I realized that I have three duplicate shirts and I wasted my money not once but twice so of course I had to donate those two shirts to others and I kicked myself in the butt because it was like 40 bucks they were like 20 each and I'm like that money could have either went to gas in my car back then um, an oil change my savings but no it went to others because I was being stupid and didn't realize that I already had that item before. So when you declutter, you realize also what duplicates that you kind of wasted your money on, like what items that you bought twice or three times or even four. So this way you will think twice when it comes to going to the store. Now, if I, whenever I go to the store and I see something and it looks familiar, I call my boyfriend or I take a picture of it before buying it, go home and realize I already have that. Thank goodness I didn't buy it. And if you do buy an item that is a duplicate, bring it back, save your receipts so you can get your money back. Stop following influencers that make you want to spend money. I know this is kind of ironic because I'm technically considered an influencer. I don't think I am. I feel like I'm more of a content creator. Um, but when it comes to your regular influencers, the Amazon must-haves, the fashion hauls, 
Those are the influencers that are going to influence you to purchase things you do not need. See, see the difference? That's why I don't like getting called an influencer because I feel like I don't influence you guys to purchase things you don't need. I might influence others to start a minimalist lifestyle. Anyways, that's a different topic for another day. But yeah, try to unfollow some of those influencers. I had a handful of influencers that I was following back then that I unfollowed the minute I started this new lifestyle. I started following people that were gonna help me save money instead of spend money. This is another great way where you can stop your shopping addiction. Because your shopping addiction isn't always your fault. It's what you see all the time. It's what you see online, what you're constantly advertised. So try to follow people that align with your lifestyle. Again, if you have a shopping addiction, it's not good to follow people that are always shopping. For a little example, that's like me being subscribed or following a bunch of bakers online, like vegan bakers. I have a huge sugar addiction and I have been trying so hard to not indulge every day in a dessert. I only indulge once a week now instead of every day. If I was to subscribe or follow every vegan baker out there, I would get a craving to have a sweet every day. So the same thing goes for when you follow other influencers for fashion or things like that. You're going to want to spend money because you that's what you're seeing. So if you want to see a change, best way to do that is unfollow the influencers that are influencing you to spend money. Tech break, TV apps, phone, laptop. This way you'll be less distracted to waste your money. Just like I said before with influencers, same thing goes for TV, regular TV. Same thing goes for watching movies on free apps. There's always a commercial. And some of those commercials are triggering to people that have a shopping addiction. I know I was triggered when I had one. When I seen a L'Oreal commercial back then or a Maybelline commercial back then, even if it was nine o'clock at night, you know what 21 year old Kira did after seeing that commercial? Grabbed my keys, went to my car, and went down the street to the 24 hour CVS and purchased me some Maybelline and L'Oreal makeup because that commercial made me want to go buy it. And that's why these companies do commercials. So commercials and billboards, they're all triggering to us. We like what we see and they make them look very aesthetically pleasing so it's nice to stare at nice to look at. If they just do a regular commercial like, here's a lip gloss, it's great, buy it, you guys won't be intrigued. Instead, they get all in detail with it. They open the lip gloss, they try it on, like they legit <laughs> try their best to get under your skin or to get in your wallet, I should say. And trust me, I'm not perfect. When I am watching a movie and I see like, or even a show and I see someone eating ice cream, I'm, I look at my boyfriend and I'm like, we need ice cream right now. Now that I know that it's just a trigger and it's something that I just, I didn't need because I'm not hungry or anything. It's just because I've seen it. So yeah, just be careful, be mindful of how much time you're spending with tech items, okay? Take a tech break. I always take tech breaks, especially when we do in this job all the time. It's nice to go outside for a little walk. I walk on my treadmill, listen to music, take a break with seeing all of the advertisement. I guarantee you they're gonna make you want to spend money you don't have. Make a list before doing your regular shopping. This way you have a legit store map. This goes for everything. Groceries, clothes, shoes. Make a list, you guys. I know it sounds so silly with clothes and shoes, but when I was looking for items like my new wardrobe, I told myself, all right, I need about four tank tops, and this was a couple years back. I need about four tank tops in this color each. I'm gonna go into Old Navy, grab those, and get out. It's a legit map. You know what you're in there for, you know where to go. You're not browsing around and spending unnecessary money. You're only in there for one mission, not five. And the same thing goes for grocery stores too. Around the pandemic time, I had a shopping addiction with going to the grocery store and spending money on sweets, like I said, and just like little vegan snacks totally unnecessary. All we really needed was our main meals. So now I just make sure I write down everything that we need. I'll make a legit list, either on my phone or a piece of paper. I'll put frozen food. All right, frozen broccoli, strawberries, cauliflower, 
That's what I need in the frozen food aisle. Grab it, go, move on to the next section. So if you are wanting to update your clothing items, write down what you need. Three tank tops, particularly in this color. Three pairs of underwear in this color, this kind of underwear. So you, that way, even when you go in, ask a clerk for help. That's what they're there for. Ask someone for help to direct you into that area of what you need. All right, I need three tank tops. Where are they located? Oh, they're right there on the back wall. You go there, grab them, get out. <laughs> because if you are in these stores more than 15 to 20 minutes, you're gonna buy stuff that you do not need. And it's, you're gonna pick up that bad habit again. So starting now, try to make a store map. It's super simple. Make it the night before you go to the store or the week before you decide to shop. And I really, really hope this helps you guys because it has helped me tremendously when it comes to my sweet tooth. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you've kicked your shopping addiction in the butt already or let me know down below if you're working on it. As for me, I kicked my shopping addiction when it came to clothes and shoes back around 2016. And everything that I have mentioned in this video is things that I followed and it has really, really helped with changing my life and changing my shopping addiction. So on that note, you guys, I will see you in the next video.